Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is seventh lecture and today we will understand about file input output in Python. All right, let's get started. So this is spider anaconda package and this is spider interface. So here is small introduction to it. Output will be displayed on console side. This is console and you will write the code here in this window and this is your project window. So you need to create a new project here and this is your title bar. So all the main file edit and search and other options are available here to run the code. You have to play this button to debug the code. You have to use this button to stop the code from debugging. You have to use this button to open a new file. Their button is here shortcut and to open any folder location. You can use this button. So let's say you want to create a new project. You just have to click here new project and then you have to give the project name here. So let's say we give the project name as file input output. So file IO and it will create a project for you here. You can see that now the folder name is file underscore IO. And if you want to create any file, so you just have to create a new file and it will be untitled underscore one dot py. You can see that by default it is dot py and now if you start writing your code it when you save it it will go inside it and it will save inside it so let's now start with our file input output program learning let us take an example database so this is the database that we are current going to consider as an input for us so this database contains the name of employees then there is age of the, each of these employees then employee IDs and the date of births of these employees. So we are considering very small database of only eight employees here, but it could be as long as even millions of employees in a database. So this is the text database that we are going to consider for our programming. To start writing a code, we need an empty file. So empty file we have taken from this button and the input database that we are going to take is this database, which is already present in our current working directory. and now you can see that there are small number of rows and columns here, but it could be many, many rows and many, many columns also. And here, if you see what we have to do is we have to take out the names and we have to take out the employee IDs using the Python functionality of file input output. So to extract the data, we are going to take this file as an input and then we will process it using the Python programming. To do that, we will take first variable file handle and we will open the file using this. So open function we are going to use inside which we have to give the file name. So employee data dot txt is the file name. Now the file is already open. Now we are going to print each row line by line. We are going to print. So for that we need you to use for loop. So for loop we are going to use here for line. Line is the variable we are going to take in file handle so file handle has already read all the contents so for line in file handle inside this now we are going to print so if you give print line it is going to print each line so this is the very small code and it is very easy to use also you can see that let's save the code now so let's say we are going to give file io.py this is the file name that we are going to give it so it has been saved now you can see it is here created and if we run it you can see that all the contents of your data database is already printing you can see that it has read all the contents and it is printing here now let's say if you want to extract your name and you want to save it so let's say to extract the names what you need to do is you just have to give a variable let's say we have given name itself as a variable and name will be your line you can see that first column first column itself is the name so if you give like this line dot split function and after that if you give like this so it has splitted your each row so first line itself will be splitted in an array and now to access first element, we know that index of the first element will be zero. So if you give like this, it is going to access the first element and it will save it in name variable. So let's say that we want to print your name variable. So it will print your name variable using this code. Let's try running it. 
you can see that all the names are extracted it is easy right now you can see that employee database had sec 0 1 and then 2 second column is your employee id so with the same functionality if we again create one more variable emp id and we give again line dot split function and in that split function we want to access second variable so it will print now employee id also to do that we will give here employee id so for that let's say it is separated by space and then we can give here emp id that is also a string let's save it and run you can see that name and employee ids are extracted the beauty of python programming is that it is very easy to do the tasks which are very difficult in c plus plus or c programming and that is why it has become very popular amongst the using of coders that's all for this video please like share and subscribe to the channel and please give your feedback in the comment section thank you